Hello, everybody, and welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation, and this is an old friend. It is Poker Quest, now dubbed Poker Quest Swords and Spades. It is out now in 1.0, so it is a perfect time to jump back in and see what's new, what's changed, and hopefully show this great game to new people. It is a roguelike card-based RPG. Important distinguishing factor that it is not a deck builder. It has cards in it, but it just has a standard deck of 52 cards that you will use to help, you know, perform attacks. You're not going to be building any deck. You're more building out a kit through equipment, everything like that. Uh, more akin to like a Dicey Dungeons than a Slay the Spire. Uh, but it really is kind of in its own lane, and I'm excited to show it off here. So one of the cool things about this game, like... There's so many characters, and they are all wildly different. Uh, like, I don't even have them all unlocked. Like, more keep showing up as you keep going, and there's three more new ones that got added in the last update. But we're going to be playing as the knight here, just to kind of not overwhelm new players to this game and kind of introduce the base mechanics. It will seem straightforward and not too complex, but let me assure you, it can get very, very strategic. So let's play here on the roguelike mode instead of the roguelite mode. There's both options. You can play without meta progress to get more experience, which just helps you unlock characters faster. But if you are going to be losing a lot, you might as well play this mode anyways, uh, <laughs> more or less, because you'll unlock stuff just as quickly. But so you reached the first cast in the last run. OK, well, hey, I'll tell you what. Let's just say I'm not going to worry about that. Let's just go in here. Let's explore the basics of this game here. So, this is our world map. You know, this is a relatively familiar site nowadays. But one thing that is interesting about it, we can only see a couple uh, rows ahead of us. So, everything has its own unique rewards to it, be it poker chips, food, which we need in order to move without taking damage, uh, and then there is gems, which we can use for various effects in combat. So for the sake of it, uh, even though this is like the almost certainly the correct way of going. Yeah, you know what? Screw it. I'll do it. Uh, we'll, we'll go over here and, and show up what combat is like. So we get a, a deck of cards that we are going to be drawing from. We're both drawing from, I believe. Oh, God, I can't even remember if it's the same. It's been so long. It's been like almost a year. Uh, we're drawing from a deck of 52 cards here, um, and we have equipment, and we're going to be able to buy more over the course of time, we're going to be able to upgrade it, all of that stuff to get more crazy, out like absolutely outlandish uh, equipment. But for now, just know we have the Knight's Sword, we have the Shield of Spades, we can put up to two cards in the sword, and it is as, as straightforward as this, whatever cards you put in, it does that much damage, equal to the value. Uh, like, the value is pretty obvious for most of them. Face cards are 10, though, and ace does count as 11, unless you need it to count as a 1. Uh, it will be versatile. So, basically, we can do that for the knight's sword, and you notice right here, if they're a pair, it does 50% more damage, which is kind of a nice thing. We have the shield of spades that can block for the equal amount instead of attack, uh, and it gives a bonus if they're all spades. So, currently... Not a big deal. We're going to be able to get the option to draw more cards. We're going to be able to do crazier things like, uh, you know, we can use gems right now to draw two cards. Well, boy. Uh, you know what? We're going to be taking five damage. Uh, the, the reason I was going to avoid this character because it, it's not a great way of showing how enemies work, but uh, it's kind of a, he's kind of a weird one. He's going to be slowly doing damage to us and trying to run away. He's kind of a weird encounter. So I'm going to block for now, and I'm going to put the double aces in, which you can see would do, uh, you know, the 22 there, but it does an extra 50%. We get to go for a big smack. But yeah, this guy is strange. Um, no card cost. Any cards added to at least 10. The hero gains 3. Uh, so they kind of function the same way, and they will be drawing from the deck, and they will put their cards into their equipment. Uh, and it goes in priority from left to right. Uh, which, in this case, is not that relevant, but hey. So my shield is on cooldown. There's nothing I can really do. Uh, hero gains three gold. We take a little bit of damage. I think that's okay. Basically, we don't want them to draw cards adding to exactly 31, because then they're going to run away stealing our money. Not super ideal. We also have the ability... Uh, eh, screw that. I'll, I'll explain that later. <laughs> There's a lot. I don't want to overload, you know? 
Uh, just know there's more to it. Hero loses a coin. You know what? We'll, we'll block for now. All right, so you're going to be stumbling. We're going to gain a little bit more money. Basically, this encounter is a weird one because it's like the longer you can last in this fight, you can kind of get away with getting lots of free money up to a certain point, which is neat. Every single turn, he's getting an extra card, though, making it more likely for him to get an exact 31. So, you know, part of me says we should probably get towards moving because, yeah, he gets that right there. Uh, he'll run away with the money, and it goes in order left to right. So this happens before this would happen. Not to mention, he I don't even know if he'd have cards adding up to 10 anyways. So, like, it's important to, to know that it goes from left to right. All right, so we got a little bit of money. We got a little bit of rewards there. Uh, important to note as well, we have the ability to upgrade our character using our money. So... We can upgrade a couple different things. We can upgrade our item slots, which is this. We'll be able to buy more items to slot into here. We already have an empty slot. I'm not too worried about that right now. Uh, very important one is number of cards drawn. That's a big deal. So I'm going to do that right here. So now we draw three cards instead of two, which I would say is going to be a big deal. There's the blacksmith. Um... Can we see how much does it cost? It costs 15 to upgrade this. You can see these are all the different uh, things we could upgrade this weapon to have. More or less, it just makes it so when you put in pairs, it becomes even stronger. Uh, but we don't really have the rewards for that. Let's go down here and we'll fight this angry boar who's going to be probably a more traditional fight and will make a little bit more sense here. So this also introduces another element where some enemies draw hidden cards... So they have four that we know what they are and one that we don't. So we can kind of we kind of have to deal with a little bit of luck. It's a poker game nonetheless. If you're expecting no luck in a game that has poker in the title, I don't know what to tell you. But uh, we are going to be in a situation where I'm like, eh, this could be a six or a nine. Lol. Uh, so it could be a three card straight. So maybe we prepare for that scenario. But... You know, let's go wild. Uh, you, I'm sad. I saw a pair and I was excited. This is a pair, so yes, it gets 50% more, but that just makes it do a, a wonderful block of six. I was hoping for a 10, a queen, or an ace, because it would just do an absurd amount of damage here. I will do the, uh, the 12 block. There's a world where we kill next turn. They got a seven. Uh, so now, hey... Here's the time where I'll introduce the fact that every character has its own ability that is completely different. The Knights is pretty straightforward. Some of them get crazy. Like, actually, like, actually, I was going to say absolutely, actually, you know what? Not a bad word. Actually, uh, you know, changes the game up at a fundamental core. So... I don't know if I want to do this right now. We're dealing with a situation where they could draw a 5 or an 8. I think that's it. A 5 gives them a 4 straight, but that, that doesn't really matter. It's fine. I'll take the I'll take the 7. It's a game where you have to have sort of like um, acceptable losses, if that makes sense. We are going to be taking some damage, but there's going to be ways to heal ourselves up. We can either A, eat food to heal ourselves for 10, but it's not something we really want to do very often because we need it to move on to the next tile. But um, we could do it. There's also all these other places. Uh, pay some gold to learn a skill. A variety of things at the shop. I would like to go to the shop. There's always a there's also the world where we buy map site range like being able to see one tile further does really really help with planning but you know it's basically which one do we want to fight the medic if we kill them with a perfect kill we heal for 10. uh so a perfect kill is not kill them without taking damage a perfect kill means killing them with the exact right amount of damage so we need to do 55 damage to them exactly, not 56, not 57, not 58, exactly 55. Uh, not in one turn, just we have to kill them with exactly zero health. 
Um, hmm. Cure all negative effects, add five damage for the rest of combat. We could do that, or we could go for the pair, attack for 22. No hidden cards. So we like, we really know if it's coming. This is less likely that we know what's coming. I'll I'll do it. Oh. You cross paths with the traveling blacksmith. He says his name is Bubblebeard. He's willing to upgrade one of your items. I love him. So I could upgrade my shield. Up up to two cards. So the upgrade for the shield makes it so that I can put in only one card if I want. Which is valuable because uh, the fifty percent of card, fifty percent extra if all cards are spades, does apply if it's only one card too. So that's, I don't know, that's really not bad. I'll do it. I'll do it. We're not gonna have a lot of money for the shop, but that's okay. All right, so we know that you aren't doing anything here. We got sixteen, or we could do fifteen. I will do the sixteen. It's sad that we don't get to do the pair, but hey. All right, we're fine here. Slowly but surely, we're just going to doink here until... All right. You're just going to give it to me for free? I <laughs> was faced no trouble there. Dungeon. You may encounter the dungeon and uh, fight two elite fights in a row. It can be pretty spooky. The rewards are pretty good, but it, it can be really, really rough. Uh, it is optional. Like, we can go there without even dealing with it. I'm gonna go down to the shop. All right, so there's some wild stuff here. You can start to see maybe how things could get a little bit more nuts uh, when we probably see some of these cards. And yeah, these are pretty straightforward. One of every suit, you will attack for two times the amount of value you put in. Uh, two uses per combat. No card cost, gain a gem. Duke. Stun the target. Cost food. Attack and hex. Hmm. Hex basically makes it so the enemies have to give us a card. Kind of. 100% extra curse if they have a full house. Curse is kind of like a damage over time, more or less. Reveal one reusable. Restore half of your missing energy. Put in a pair to gain a gem. So these are consumables. They have a limited use, and then you will have to find a way to recharge them, either at like a camp or something. I'm going to go for the Wand of Clarity. It's just a nice utility thing to have. Um, should I buy food or something? Nah. It reveals a hidden card, so like these. Like there's some scenarios where that will really make a big difference. One chip or one food? I'll go for the one food. Four cards rank six or lower. Stuns us. A three card flush. So three of the same suit. If you don't, I don't know how how in the weeds I need to go. Like this, it's basic stuff if you know poker, but I know that not everybody does. Um, pair will poison us for nine. So poison will be obviously like damage over time. We don't love that because we don't have a way to shield ourselves every turn, but I think it'll be okay. We have the ability to stun and we gain energy whenever we move. So for now, if he draws a pair, it's a little bit mediocre, but hey, I promise we'll have to make strategic decisions soon. These enemies are just terrible. They're so weak. You dinky little fools. I promise we'll have to make a strategic decision soon. Perfect kill gets you an extra coin. Uh, but this gives us more coins anyways. And this gets us to the place where we can just get two gems for free. Should the fight go poorly. It's the fool. You're not quite sure where he came from. He offers you a choice. Gain a random item. Get five food. Yeah, I'll take a random item. Cyclotron. Uh, no card cost, but it costs a gem. Cycle every card. Uh, discard all cards and redraw them. Okay. And then, and then draw two. Sure. Uh, is it weightless? 
It is not weightless. There's some items that don't even take up a slot. Do I have to... I don't have to equip this, do I? No, okay. Yeah, there we go. I didn't think so. Oh! <laughs> Demon goat! Okay, so this has a lock 30, which basically, if you're familiar with Dicey Dungeon, it, uh, Dicey Dungeons, it's countdown. Uh, basically, 30 value needs to be inserted into it, and then it becomes unlocked, and it can use it for free. For free. It, it's not always for free. Sometimes there'll be an additional cost afterwards, but this one is put 30 value in, and then it can attack me for 28, and then it gets relocked. Um... I think I'm fine with this. How much energy do we get for moving? Two, and it costs four to use the ability. Oh, that was actually a little bit spooky. And there's an ace there, so we know for a fact you're going to be able to get, uh, be able to get it this turn. I'm going to hit you with the stun, which basically forces them to discard their hand. Seven. There's a really good shot they have it. Like, it's really likely they have it. They're going to do 28. I'm going to Cyclotron because it's like, if you might as well use that instead. Okay, you know what? I'll hit you with that. Four to two. We used one of our charges of the Wand of Clarity. I mean, hey, I'll take it. We could stun again if we want. We're going to be taking the hit. Uh, I would say that it's probably going to make the most sense to do our block for 20 there. We had two spades. So we'll take eight damage here. And then we can just pretty much just brain off, go for a kill here. Uh, part of me wants to try and fish for a three for a perfect kill. You get like a little bit of, little bit of points. But I'm not going to do that. We would die. Or we would take damage. Um, We're hurting a little bit. But it's truly uh, not too bad. Can be expected. Smash. Uh, any cards adding to at least 50 and you'll attack for 16. 16 is a very blockable amount for us. I'm going to do it. If I'm going to go up here, I think I can use a food and be fine. So you obviously have it. Well, you... <laughs> okay. You obviously er have it. I was hoping I would draw something that would let me block it better, or at least attack it a bit better. God, terrible. You literally have to have it there. You, you literally have it already. What are you, What's up with this, man? 41? There's a chance you don't have it. I will, uh, I will say no. I'm not going to reveal for it. 52, you have it already. Terrible. 42. So, an 8 or above is damage. I'm just going to accept it. Okay, good. 57, you have it already. What is with this guy? I don't want to use up all my gems. So, we use up a little bit of energy there. 29. Finally, we have one where we don't have to worry about it at all. 41, I should be fine. Sad that I'm one off. Even sadder that I was one off and then I took a hit. <laughs> I was just banking on that. All right. So now we're going to Castle Hearts. This is the midway point of the first act. Uh, it is always going to be here and it always has a like a slew of different kind of, um, what do you call them? Points or whatever. Just little different hubs, I guess. So we can upgrade these things in some capacity. We could upgrade the Cyclotron so we get an extra draw. We can upgrade that even further so it's up to three cards instead, which, you know, helps us do bigger blocks, but a bigger cost. Um, the mine, raise your gem limits. 
I think buying three gems for a coin is worth doing. Flea market. We can make some pretty big trades here. Um, do I want to make a pretty big trade here? Food is important, but let's check the shop. I do like a, a tent. A free campsite is like basically a free heal and a free item regeneration. All right, we got some wild stuff. Up to two cards of rank seven or lower to attack for face value or for their value. And plus 200% damage if they're paired. It's basically, it's kind of redundant with my sword. A two card straight to attack for 1.5 times value. Two or three. Oh my god. So it, it, it upgrades into taking a, a potential straight of five. That seems... Seems like a lot. Another knight sword. I feel like that's just dumb. Pier is basically like uh, our active item that we bought. That we can use. And basically every turn we don't use it, it gets a little bit better. Three cards... It has to be three cards. Curse for the value, which, again, is kind of like a damage over time effect. Uh, it, we basically, we curse a one of their equipment, and if they don't use it, it will do damage to them. So it could last forever. You know, like, if they never use that ability, it could really, really, um, it could really, really screw them over. So I'm right now between Orderly Sword and Orderly Axe of Darkness. This is a little bit of a higher risk, higher reward. Orderly Sword, there's a, I mean, there's a real chance we can't use either of them. This is a 50% off, so I'm just going to go, I'm going to go for it. I guess we're going to ditch the Cyclotron. I forgot that that takes up inventory space right now. All right. And then there's the Dungeon. Which is two enemies. Gives us pretty big rewards. I'm going to do it. Alright, what's your deal here? You want black cards. Okay, so... I'm not worried <laughs> about this. I'm going to need more card draw. And the Cyclotron if I really want to make Orderly Acts of Darkness actually good. But I'm just excited by it. I was fishing. If I could have put that on this right now, we would have had, like, honestly, a pretty free fight. So part of me almost wants to do it again, like, as we cycle through the deck here. Like, use the gems now. We, we can always go back up and buy um, more gems from the... Wait. Oh, for a second I thought it cursed for 44. Yeah, good. So we're cursed for 44. We're going to curse this because it's the least likely that he's going to be able to do it. So this means, I know I use a lot of gems there. Uh, you have to go against your gamer instinct of holding everything until the last battle in this game. You need to use that stuff. Everything is stacked against you if you don't. Uh, so they're going to take 44 damage every turn until they cast that move. Which we know that they at least can't do it right now. Um, they could use this to do 39 or 34 damage. Uh, they could curse nine arbitrary, which basically is this to me. But if curse stacks, it procs itself. So it's a little bit sketchy. I would go as far as to say it's pretty likely we're going to take some damage. I'll hedge my bets. That worked out really, really well. Uh, another fun thing about Curse is if you um, if you stack it, I mean, we just said it, but if you stack it, it does proc immediately. So, oh, that would put them one off, though. So I'm actually going to take nine damage here, no matter what, because I can't use both of these.
the good news is they also die no matter what. So I guess I take the I take the nine. The turn rolls over. They take the forty-four. All right. Oh, you got the same deal basically here. The question is, do I do the same situation? Yeah, I do. Curse for thirty-two. Get that set up now. I'm gonna bank on those not being two black hearts. Okay. At worst, we take 18 damage from Curse. Like, the absolute worst case scenario is that we would take that amount. Um, I'm going to Curse the Freeze. Extreme, extremely lucky. In fact, I could just do this. You could be Cursed across the board. You poor sap. You poor sap. That actually went really, really well for us. Uh, I'm going to buy three gems. I kind of want to... Is there... There's nothing I can use to buy health. I can buy food as a way of doing that. I'm going to do this. Can only eat once a turn or once a uh, a map tile. Oh, this is interesting. We could just trade that and then trade back. So we can like, what is this? We can lose two energy and gain three gems. Well, that's irrelevant right now. We only have one gem missing. Unless we want to do. Wait. Okay. There's a there's a weird. If we just do mo almost all of this... Oh, bad ordering. If we do almost all of that, we just end up mostly gaining money. Which we can then just go to the shop. I could buy, buy some more energy or something. We also have 21 bucks. We could look into buying something else here, but... I'm leaning towards either... Uh, drawing an extra card or getting an item slot to put my um, cyclotron on let's just get let's just get an extra card forever and then we'll buy the extra slot when we cross that bridge right there's the blacksmith we could have looked at but nearsighted cleric <laughs> uh, two hearts to attack for 30 any cards adding to at least 40, they heal me. Let's give this a shot. We can always stun them. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. I was hoping not to have to do that immediately. Cool, 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 cool. Um, so it takes precedence over this. So if it goes, even if they drew, okay, maybe they're at 26. Even if they could do this, they wouldn't. Man, I don't want to stun again, but. Okay, here we go. This is more or less just like, I hope they pull an 8 or higher. Like, I don't want to kill them. They're going to die anyways. Ah! Oh, wait. Oh, even better. Even better. They cleared that, and now they can't do it again. They can't get that here. So, another shot. Six or higher, please. Let's go. Thank you for the heal. Bye-bye. That worked out okay. I used a lot more energy than I wanted to on stuns, but it's fine. Chef. Potentially can gain a lot of food. Let's do it. Two hearts. Uh, so two diamonds is a piercing attack. It goes through armor. So there's nothing I can really do about that anyways. Anyways. 
Good. Oh, we love to see that. We love to see that. Part of me wants to... Um... Oh, shoot. You don't want a straight. Part of me wants to proc that to buy us one more turn at this point since we're getting pretty lucky. Yeah, he's about to die. We could get another another food, maybe. Maybe. Yeah, that is so lucky. That was so lucky. I mean, skill. That was very skillful. Okay, we'll get the Cyclotron back now, too. Any cards adding to at least 10, and they'll attack for 27. Like, I obviously want to do this more than I want the one food, like, if I'm successful, but... Oh, uh, <laughs> that's right. Blackjack for 39. They have two unrevealed cards. It's a pretty spooky situation. I'm going to give it a go. Let's live a little. All right, so Blackjack being, you know, two cards where one is a face card, one is an ace... Uh, we're in a really good spot there to not care about it. Speaking of a really good spot, like, we can obviously get a pair here, but I'm also wondering if I should, uh, fish for... I was hoping I could get... Well, whatever. Would I rather... get the 45 curse... I think so. It could really bite me in the butt. I don't think so. No, I don't think it will, though. In fact, um... I'll just do that to kill you right now. Block. Yeah. The freaking orderly acts of darkness. I just... It's been so good. It has been so good. Alright, so you immediately got it, huh? How about no? I'm gonna pretty much just try and not allow him to get it, obviously. Any cards adding to at least 10. So he wants, like, low rolls. I'll do one more Cyclotron. Uh, holy moly. Ideal as hell. So he blinks first. Again, that's order of operations thing. Really important. So gem draw, by the way, if you hadn't considered or figured it out, means we would draw an extra card whenever we do that. Uh, it would upgrade Cyclotron as well to give us one more, but I think I want to save it. Pay for a drink to heal a little, or buy some overpriced food. I really like the five free chips right there, though. Five free chips, and then we get full control over where we go afterwards. I'll do it. Okay, so we know the full map until the first major boss here. Uh, campsite, we can heal up a consumable, so that would be our Wand of Clarity. We could put it back up to eight. A mine is not bad. I would say that I'd like to go to the shop. I think I'd like I think I'd like to go to the shop. Doing this into that into that sounds nice. How much is the how bad is the bear? 
One, two, three, six cards. An average of... Ugh. Any cards adding to at least 45 attack for 16. Adding to 50 attack for 32. They're all visible, which is really nice for us. Let's do it both. Because after this, we'll get the gems if things go well. I'm not gonna. Eh, it's six health. I'm not gonna do it. I feel like I run the risk of. Like, this is. It's a pretty good roll. Yeah, okay, good. You're telling me. I didn't get it. The first turn. The first turn setup is so important. I'm not gonna let you do that. Like, that's why I'm using a lot of my resources right away, is just because the earlier we do it with this kind of setup right here, the better it'll be. Oh, you son of a dummy. Fifteen. Twenty. Twenty, but then that goes down to eight. That's actually probably fine, so. Oh, you you ding doing. Yeah, I'm so happy I got this axe. It seems actually giga busted. At least with the stuns where we can keep them from uh, like procking them and clearing off the curse. Any cards adding to exactly six to curse for 11 and then draw a card? That's actually very good, especially for three bucks. Uh, two card flush and five health. Enemy gains vulnerable. Eh, a lot of our damage isn't attack damage, which that is what that buffs up. 50% more attack damage. Diamond fall, trade diamonds to draw the amount of cards plus one not bad one ace to stun them two uses for combat there's some good stuff here recovery causes the next n cards so t the next two cards to be returned to your hand after activating i mean that's very good This is tricky. There's some nice stuff here, but we also have to buy item slots to use it. I'll tell you what. I'm going to do that now and then see what we have as options. Pretty much everything still. This is really appealing because we could use it to do like a quick um, stab to basically uh, proc our curse on the enemy if they're going to, you know, get rid of it in another way. All right, Sergeant Toad. So basically, I don't want a Cyclotron here. I need to set, <laughs> come on. I need to set up an amazing first turn here on the sword because it's a very unlike, it's not unlikely, but it's, um, it's a slow going thing. You're probably going to be able to do that, but I'll just go for it anyways. He's not going to be able to hit me this turn. I already know that. That is the best case scenario for me. Okay. Same kind of deal here. We know that he can't get four, uh, four red cards, so we don't need to use our stun. I'm going to probably... Oh, my God. You poor sap. Same... No, not same deal. We stun here. Ah! <laughs> we should have just wand of clarity again, huh? Apparently, apparently. All 
All right. We're good. He might be able to clear off the shield, but that's not that big of a deal. Okay. Shield cleared. He's got all of that now. Once again, he can't get the sword. This guy's having a day. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, idiot. Oh my. That was really easy. So that is technically a win. This was something that they, they added, but... Let me be clear, it is not the end of the run at all. There's, like, a lot more zones. But this is a nice way where you can basically say, thank you very much. I will cl I will count that a a as a win. And you can tap out and get a lot more experience, which I think for the case of today, I'm probably going to do because this was a showcase more or less. If you guys are excited about PokeQuest and you want to see it make a return, see the new characters, new content, stuff like that, you can definitely let me know. But we're going to go ahead and do that. We're going to claim this as a victory and uh, and pop on back and say... So that right there, that is Poker Quest. Uh, sorry, Poker Quest Swords and Spades. That is going to take a while. But that was just one of the characters. I, I want to just briefly, like, very slowly move over some of these characters. You can see there the equipment they start with. And most importantly, you can also see their uh, abilities, which are very, very game-changing. So you can steal a card of the choi of your choice. Pretty big deal. Uh, just lots of stuff. Uh, and they get even wilder near the end. Some of these, you know, while traveling, you may spend 20 energy to gain 25 bucks. Banker literally just gets stronger uh, and stronger as they have more money. Their cards use money. Has a scroll of greed to double your, <laughs> double your chips, lose 50 max HP. Just some, just some weird stuff. Really, really weird stuff. Not to mention the fact that they have a mod support beta. The uh, the daily bonus runs are very, very neat. I wait. Do I have the queen? Who the hell is the queen? That's, as far as I'm aware, that's not one of the new three. So I guess it's just, I think it might be a character I have. I don't, I don't, I don't recall. Yeah, I do. Uh, there's just so much new stuff that's been added. So it's hard to keep track, but the daily runs are, are neat. There's modifiers on them and you can go in, you can see where everybody, you know, went, where everybody died challenge runs uh, for all kinds of different modifiers increase the amount of playability replayability custom runs and everything you can change every little element change what you start with you can be broken you can do whatever the heck you want it's just a very very fun solid game it is currently uh until okay until the 21st so if you're watching this right now live like or, or as this video goes up you're going to want to jump on the deal for a 30% off. Uh, if you're wanting to pick this up, don't. I wouldn't go back and forth on it too much. Uh, I would jump on that 30% off. Otherwise, yeah, it's going to go back up to $15. It is currently $10.50 US dollars. Uh, and I could not, like, I can scarcely think of a game that I've played recently on this channel that I think is more worthy of that, like, price tag the amount of content and replayability you can get out of this is is absurd really like there's so many characters so many different ways to play and i know it sounds like i'm gushing it's because i am it's because i want you guys to pick this up i've had so much fun with it i put so much time into this game and it's it's great that it's out of early access now i i uh it was one of those games where i forgot it was in early access because of how solid and uh uh you know polished up it is so, alas, alas, that is that. That's going to do it here for today. If you guys want me to return to Poker Quest, if you want to see a new series out of it, something like that, uh, we're going to have to see some support on this video here in the form of likes and comments, all that stuff. But either way, it's been fun to come back regardless. Thank you for watching. If you're new to this channel, my name is Retromation. I cover indie games every single day, but typically a specialty 
in roguelikes and roguelites. If that is something you are into, this is a channel that you should be subscribed to. I was one of the first channels to cover Poker Quest when it came out on Steam. I know it's been around in like a browser form for a long time, but uh, this version of the game, uh, one of the first channels to, to cover it. So it is something that, you know, if that's something you're interested in is finding these games early. This is a great place to be. Thank you for watching, though. Thank you, thank you, and I will see you next time. Bye.